Engineer 775. Um, one of the nice things to be able to do is to measure your output throughout the day um, based on your installation. This is just a small PV array, uh, two 140 watt panels that I have in parallel that I use for charging um, the Sunrunner portable solar system and I also use them for other experiments and today I'm hooked up to the Watts View monitoring um, uh, sensor and also using the Watts View uh, software to measure what the solar panels are putting out at any time real time and so let me show you let me show you that okay so we've hooked the solar panel up through this uh, SMH connector into the watts view sensor which is basically a, a hall effect sensor that measures voltage and amperage through a conductor and now it's tied to my computer through a, a serial port and it also has to be powered. I use this little 12 volt battery to um, power the, the sensor to um, send 12 volts to the board so that the sensor will work. And then from the output side of this, we're running it back through the sun runner on the solar side and so that we take advantage of the charge controller. So basically, I could go directly to the sun runner, but I'm going through the Watts View sensor and software first. And so in looking at the software again, uh, we just unplug so you see this spike here, but we're, we're putting out a, about 100, the, the array is putting out about 156, um, 156 watts. Let me put it on the other display. So there's a lot of options, a lot of cool options on the Watts View software. This is probably the main numbers that you would want, whether you're testing a hand crank generator, a pedal generator, a solar array. Um, or any maybe a thermoelectric generator trying to figure out what your system is actually producing and so uh, really thankful to uh, Brad Whaley um, who uh, lives out in Phoenix came out to visit me and uh, brought me the software and a sensor and a pedal generator for me to play around with but also to share that with you um, these are available they'll be in the links in the description so for all of your alternative energy projects if you want to be able to actually measure real time what is going on and this is the way to go um, so obviously you can use a you know your clamp on meters flukes or whatever but this is nice to be able to monitor um, what your systems are producing over a period of time so that you know exactly what you're getting um, the, this is again all electrical systems we're checking uh, basically DC systems but you could uh, put pressure transducers um, uh, thermostats measuring temperature on hot water systems so all sorts of things that you can do and then bring them into the Watts view uh, software through the Watts view data acquisition unit so a lot of cool stuff here um, so I'm going to be using this on most all of my projects and if I need to measure pressures and temperatures over time or what have you I'm going to work with Brad to uh, put them up on the Watts view software so that you can actually see some real data real-time data so this isn't changing much because the solar is pretty constant of course and but you see it bouncing around a little bit and then back on the main panel You've got this graph down here that you can capture. Uh, you see that spike drop in the center there. That's when we unplugged it from one port and went to another port, and then it was back up to the 160 watts of production. And so um, you can capture all these screenshots. And uh, so anyway, real cool stuff, and uh, look forward to sharing uh, the output from various alternative energy projects that we were working on. This is Engineer 775 signing out.